Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. I hope you're doing well. So we have a very big event coming up this Saturday as a church here at Central Schwenkfelder. We are going to be uh, going and participating in the Manna on Main Street Race to End Hunger in Lansdale. It's going to be at Knapp Elementary School this Saturday, April 13th. And it's going to take place at 8 a.m. Uh, people can start arriving earlier than that, 7.30. The race is going to begin. People are leaving to run at 8.15. That's when the starting gun is going to go off and they're going to start having the different races begin. So we're going to be going there as a church. There's going to be a lot of people from our church participating in running and volunteering and we're going to have a table there. We're a sponsor, and uh, we're going to pray for people. We are going to give uh, some freebies out. We're going to give some uh, some books out if anybody's interested in them. And uh, we're also going to be giving out, as, as part of our freebies, uh, passes for one per family for Freddie Hill Mini Golf. This is going to be really cool. It's a way that we can demonstrate uh, our care and love for the community um, by doing this to let Christ's light and love shine through us. A perfect passage of scripture that I, I, I love as we approach the men on Main Street race to end hunger is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 to 17. We're going to take a look at this because this is, as a church, this is uh, this is how we should be entering that space, that place on Sunday, as we're amongst those in the community and amongst those uh, who are uh, uh, hungry and part of this mission. This is our approach. This is what we want to be as a church. So let's take a look. At 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 to 17. This is what the Apostle Paul writes. He says, But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved, and among those who are perishing, to one a fragrance from death to death, to the other a fragrance from life to life, who is sufficient for these things? For we are not, like so many, peddlers of God's word, but as men of sincerity, as commissioned by God in the sight of God, we speak in Christ. So this is the Apostle Paul writing to the church in Corinth, and there was some suspicion put on Paul and some criticism put on him that because he he's he travels a lot. He's not just stationed in Corinth at this church, and he'll write these letters, and so he's trying to express part of uh, his justification in uh, in what he's doing and who he is and his credibility in his letter, but also uh, expressing how he is ministering to them and sets an example for them in the place where they live and where they are called. So let's break this down a little bit. Paul writes, but thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. So here we have imagery. This is Roman imagery. I mean, this is a church in Corinth. This is part of the Roman Empire at this time in Greece, but, but part of the Roman Empire. And there is this imagery of of victory in Jesus. And if there is a Roman victory over a foe, there is a triumphal procession where the generals and the leaders are, are brought through the streets, 
on their, their horses and there's a procession with them and a celebration and a parade. And so here we have the imagery that Christ is leading them and, and will be leading us as we head to the men on Main Street race to end hunger, that he is leading them in a triumphal procession and through them spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. So Christ is using the Apostle Paul and his disciples to spread the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. As part of these processions, these, these triumphal processions in Rome, they would burn incense and the fragrance would be uh, smelled and taken in throughout the streets. This is the smell of victory. This is a great smell to those people, knowing that they have been victorious. And so it's through Paul, it's through us as we go to the men on Main Street, rest, Race to End Hunger, that this fragrance of the knowledge of Jesus and his victory will spread everywhere. And Paul goes on to say, for we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To one a fragrance from death to death and to the other a fragrance from life to life. So as we go, and we are going to be praying with people. We're going to be representing Christ, the Christ of the Bible, the Jesus of the Bible, who we celebrated his resurrection only a few weeks ago, who is victorious over death and is the source of all life. So we are going to be spreading his love and his care providing tangibly uh, money and resources to this great mission, but also reaching out hand in hand to the community. And we are going to be praying and, and sharing that love in light of God, the gospel, the good news of Christ with all those who are there. And through our kindness, our generosity, through our gentleness, through our pers personability, through our caring, we are going to be spreading that fragrance everywhere we go. We want to spread. We have we have people involved in running the races, and they we're going to be wearing shirts while we're there that say "Ask Ask Me to Pray for You," and so we are going. This fragrance is going to spread during the races. It's going to spread in the vendor area. It's going to spread everywhere through us, just as uh, this fragrance spread through Paul and his disciples. But here it says, to one a fragrance from death to death, the other a fragrance from life to life. To some people, uh, to, to those to in one of these parades, the fragrance of this incense uh, was not a good smell because it signified defeat. It signified victory of one who you despise and that you reject. To the others, it it's a fragrance of beauty, a beautiful aroma because it signifies victory. And there are going to be some who don't want to have anything to do with God, with Jesus. And the fragrance of him there is going to be displeasing to them. Then there's going to be others who, in their hearts, um, are searching and seeking and are open to Christ. And to them, uh, and those who might even know Christ, and all to, to all of them, it is going to be a beautiful fragrance. The one from death to death, another from life to life. And a fragrance is something that you remember, you keep in your mind. I worked on a trash truck for many years, 
And I remember the various smells that I smelled on that truck. There are certain things that smell worse than others. And I remember those awful smells, but I also remember uh, great smells. I re some of my favorite smells, uh, cookies baking in the oven, the smell of uh, pine tree and cinnamon at Christmas. We have all kinds of wonderful smells and they're marked in our minds and they trigger memory when we smell them. They trigger something within us. To some, it's going to trigger something very bad and some it'll trigger something very good. And we're hoping that everyone there, that this is a pleasing fragrance and aroma to them, our presence representing Jesus Christ. And Paul goes on to say, who is sufficient for these things? For we are not like so many peddlers of God's word, but as men of sincerity, as commissioned by God in the sight of God, we speak in Christ. So as we go to the manor race and hunger in that place, we are not sufficient for this responsibility, for this job to be the aroma of God. We are not, just like so many others. But if we go there in humility, with sincerity, um, and understanding that you have been commissioned, that, that Central Schwenkfelder has been commissioned by God to do this. In the sight of God, we can speak in Christ and pray over those who were there and represent him and be that pleasing aroma that others will be drawn to him and that God will do a work in their hearts. And they praise God, uh, lots of money will be raised to feed hungry people and to aid the programs to get certain people on their feet in our community who are really struggling. I want to encourage you, if you are not participating in this, but might want to, as part of our church, you can show up and go over to the central booth that's there and say, how can I help? And uh, we'll probably give you a t-shirt and say, this is how you can help. Uh, even if you haven't signed up. God bless you, and I pray uh, at the very least that you will pray for this wonderful mission that we're going to be involved in this weekend. God bless you, and have a great day.